Good morning, good morning. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm going to do a quick read for you guys. Um, just lying in bed and I said to myself, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, wicked cramp in my toe. I don't know where that came from. So, it is... I don't know. What is it like the 30th? Something like that. Something like that. It's the 30th. So March 30th, 2019. Let's just see what we get for you guys, okay? Um, it is um the deck of sexual magic, okay? So I gotta say 18 or older. 18 or older. Did you eat breakfast yet while I was gone? Huh? Did you eat breakfast while I was gone? Yeah. What'd you have? Uh, cereal. Cereal? Okay. Do you see Ma's glasses over there? No. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands. Um, it's, to me, it's like, it's, it's heavy weight, you know, it's, um, <sighs> I don't, I kind of feel secrets with this one today, so I don't know if, like, it's like you're doing something behind someone's back, or it's just nobody else knows what the deal is. It's like that type of energy. Um... too many so it's the knight of swords so I don't know if somebody wants to deliver a message to you or not um, it looks like someone wants to play so here's the deal I kind of feel like someone's fighting Possibly like a situation ship. You know, but it's like we have fun together, but then it's like it's like the feeling is like it's just it's so strong and it's and so intense, okay, that whatever this is is um it's weighing on someone, you know. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarian. And we have the Six of Pents. So what's happening is that someone's thinking about the past. And it's like, you have somebody right in front of you. It's like, the harvest is here. So it's like, do I go and balance it out? Do I go and tell somebody how I feel? Do I just kind of leave it be? You know? Um... <laughs> So, or this is saying, you know, because that's, that's the feminine energy, so I don't know if it's more like this masculine is thinking about this one. It's like, she's thinking about it too. It's like, I know it's here, but like, why are you just standing there? You know, it's like, what are you doing? Um, tell me about the ten of wands. Actually, let me get one more. Let me get one more and then I'll clarify for you guys. Well, this message, you know, is just, it's, it's heavy, you know, um, regardless, it, you know, it's a seven of pence. Are you going to invest time or are you not? So I don't know if it's just a thought, but this is the tool of you being extremely exhausted. You know, it's like, you need a break, but it's like breaking together, figuring it out, breaking together. So. There is definitely something going on. So if you're, you know, in a relationship, it's, um, there's tension. There's tension. And, and to me with the six of pence, it's like, what do, what do I do? 
you know, it's like, it's almost like she's bored knowing the harvest is here. I, I don't know if she's got somebody else on her mind. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, I feel like someone's definitely watching somebody else. I don't know if somebody's already in a relationship. So it, it, it's tricky. It's kind of like how this resonates with you, but it's like, to me, it's like a message and it's like trying to balance out the scales and it's, you know, it's, it's taking a break. It's not, Hey, let's take a break from each other. It's take a break, you know, figure it out. Talk about what you need to talk about. Take a break. You know, like rest, chill out, fall asleep together. Don't, don't worry about time. Don't worry about, you know, I mean, if you got a schedule, then obviously you got to worry about the time, but it's like, that's timeless to me. You know, and it, it's ironic because it's a seven of pence, and, and to me it's saying timeless. So it's, enjoy the moment, even if, you, even if you guys don't have, like, much time and you just got a lot going on. You know, it's like, what little time you have, enjoy it. So, tell me about the ten of wands. So this, this ten of wands to me is just, it's heavy. All right, so it's the hangman. So I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces, but this is again, it, it's it's resting, it's soul searching, it's it's also quite the connection you have with somebody. You know, um, could be dealing with the strong Pisces. This is not being hung up. This is you guys dream about each other. You know, the desire, the tension um, is there. I, and I feel like this tension is, is on purpose. It's almost like, it's almost like wanting to deliver a message, but not like waiting, like built, like the tension's building and, and it's like, someone's getting a kick out of it, you know? And it's like, the other one's like, not cool. It's, is it games? Like, what is this? Like, so one's in the energy of like, uh, and the other one's like, you're both definitely thinking about each other. Um, you could be talking telepathically in your sleep, but this is more, you guys know. So let's see if you're going to get this message. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Because that's complete desire. So yeah, it's the four of wands. It's like, and again, like I got plenty of cards that don't show desire in this deck. And this one's like, well, it pretty much says it all. It's actually one of my favorite decks in the card, card in the deck. And it's, and it's not because of, you know, position or anything like that. It's, it's, it's the, I don't know. There's just something about this that's just. It's a tool of you. It's it's pure. You know, it's it's desire, it's fun, it's you know building your foundation, moving forward, you know. Um it's like the outside world just doesn't exist. Whether it's your backyard, whether it's fantasy, you know, so it's like this one actually you know, it's like the Knight of Swords looks at something as like a solid foundation, but Again, I, you know, this, it, he's screaming me tension, like purposely, like putting something on hold or something. And, and now you got this one. That's just like, I, I know you're there, you know, and it's like, I know we're thinking about each other. So it's like, are we going to invest time? Are we going to yap? Are we going to talk? Are we going to rest? That, uh, is this us? Like, or, you know, is it like, what do I do with you? You know, because it's like, it's like she knows it's here. So I don't know if she has another option or if she's just now like, you know what, forget about it. You know, it's like, stay behind me if you want to stay behind me, you know, which it must be hard for her because at the same time, this is what she knows she can have. So is she confused? Does she want to invest this time because right now she doesn't know because if you ask me it's almost like the the tension that this one's building is on purpose it's it's deliberate you know and it's like I'm gonna make her wait uh, even though I know even though I know that this is can be a solid foundation 
you know, so it's it's a little rough to hear oh, if okay. this is you watch, because watch, it's like watch, 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 it's like watch, deliberately watch, watch. deliberately being played out this way and you know that's that's not that's not cool you know i don't think that's i don't think that's cool it's like are we gonna balance out the scales like because this is who you are like when i think about you this is what i think about you know and that's that's why it's beautiful you know and it's like this one purposely is causing tension Kaden, hold on a minute. This one's purposely causing the tension here, um, even though this one, even though this one wants it. It's like let's really loose. Come on, get down off the bed, off the bed. Thank you. So it's like to me that looks straight up deliberate. You know, like I want to deliver this message. I mean, it's heavy, it's romantic. We have fun together, but it's almost like. Someone's like keeping the silence with the hangman too, even though they know that's what they can have, a solid foundation. So it's almost like you literally have somebody here that's deliberately gets a kick off attention and someone's just like, I, I can't, you know, it's like that. It's just, it's a not cool, you know? So it's like, if, if you're if the one doing this male or female, it doesn't matter. Like there's no reason for that. Cause it's like, you can invest time. It's like you're both looking at each other like it's just beauty, you know? Tell me about the six of pence. So if you're in a relationship and this is happening, you could just be teasing each other and doing this. But I, I feel like one's had enough regardless, you know? And it's like she's thinking about the king of swords or it's him that's, you know, thinking about her. But this is... I've said this to you plenty of times. Out of all the cards in the deck, this is the one I'm just, like, not crazy about. I'm just not. Because to me, it, it screams, you know, sometimes just, like, arrogance. Like, I don't know if this one thinks they can have whatever they want, play whatever games they want to play. It's almost like they don't even need to do all the talking because it's like they know this one person wants this one gentleman. And it's like, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. You know, so I don't know whose thoughts is who or if this is actually all one masculine energy thinking about coming in and balancing out the scales and actually investing time and you're dealing with, again, a Libra Aquarius Gemini. So tell me about the seven of pence. But I will tell you with that feminine being right there and the way she looks, but the way she thinks about somebody, she, you know, it's like, that's not going to last much longer. And this is, this is passion on my board. You know, and it's like, follow your passion. So to, to silence passion, it's like, you're, it's like you're punishing yourself for those who is in this situation. All right. So tell me about the seven of pence, please. The one that I originally was going to take, but then I wasn't sure if that was the one, was the Queen of Pence. I mean, the Queen of Wands. So, again, that screams that passion that I'm talking about, you know? So, yeah, so Two of Wands. This is the way she thinks about, or he, the way he or she thinks about this other person is like, you guys get so lost within each other. It's like you forget about the outside world. But this is like it's a tool of wands. It's, it's deciding. But it's deciding where to go together. You know. So. You know, again, if like you're coupled. Then you're just kind of teasing each other, which is kind of all good. All right. But if you're not and this is somebody who's just kind of like somebody who's very important to you and it's like you know because this is such beauty but we have a little we have a little arrogance because somebody's purposely um getting a thrill off of this tension 
and it's like it's just wrong because there's just there's too much beauty here and someone's getting sick of it so I don't know if like the masculine's realizing like maybe I shouldn't be doing this maybe I shouldn't just be standing on the outskirts you know maybe I should go in and have a conversation because this is that conversation you know, so maybe the masculine decides to have a conversation. Or it's, if you guys don't have a conversation and this doesn't come into fruition, this is them thinking that. But this is also, you do have somebody here, um, there is a potential that somebody is purposely keeping someone hung up. You know, it, it's, you know, so there's that. I love you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands. All right. So this is this is the King of Wands I like coming together. It's, it's that hug. You know, it's, it's that moment that counts. So it's, it's not all about pleasure. It's where someone's heart lies. No, it's not. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, you were. No, I'm not. So, you know, Kate added his two cents with the whole, when I said it's not all about pleasure, you know, it's, it's where the heart lies. And so it, it's both, it's, it's pleasure and where the heart lies. So if that's the case, it looks like the masculine is just holding it up for their own reasons, selfish or not, you know, um, it's, it looks deliberate. You know, so this is either thoughts are coming in and saying enough of this, it's time to have a conversation, or this is somebody purposely trying to cause tension through silence or through not getting back to somebody um, to get their, you know, get their own rocks off. It's, it's like they, I don't know, I don't, I don't like it because it's a mature man on my, on my board, but coming in as the knight, so it's like how mature it is something really being played out you know so it, it's like immature thoughts so it's like if it's a game then you're dealing with somebody who who's still doing that but if it comes through you know you're dealing with um a, a gentleman that wants to take action okay so it really just depends and apparently you know it's it's, it's pleasure and where your hat lies so I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys. Oh, and I can also look at it as, you know, well, basically, bottom line it is with that six of pens is, is how do I do it? But it's like they're, they're, they know who this person is. And it's like, what do you mean? How do you do it? You just have a conversation. You know, it's like some of you are like, ah, oh, easier said than done. But at the end of the day, it just takes a conversation. I love you guys. Have a great Saturday. Bye.